welcome back to Curse of Monkey Island, Mega Monkey. So, we've explored most of this town, so let's go up here and see what we can find in this theater. Gotta take the long way around, Guybrush. Uh, let's open the front door. It's locked. Oh, it's locked. Of course it is. But there is an alley over here. If that sounds congested, it's, um... It's a, a cold I'm running with right now. It looks too heavy for me to carry. Okay. There's some fake spears. Fake spears. Uh oh, there's a pocket. Open the pocket. There's a glove in here. Oh, okay. I'll take that because it's not nailed down. Dandruff. Looks like a nice coat, with just a few flakes of unsightly dandruff. Gross. That's weird. I didn't think dandruff. What? Move. Gross. Oh. So these are headlights. So, of course, we pick it up and put it in our pocket. Ah! Alright, what else we got? Magic hat? I don't want to disturb the mystic powers of the hat. Hmm. Watch me make this disappear. Whoop. Well, that's easy. What else we got in here? Uh, we got stairs. We don't seem to be able to use them. To swab or <laughs> not to swab? No, no, that's not right. <laughs> so this is spear. You've got to get this right. The show opens today. Oh my gosh! Don't stress out, man. Then I kill Caesar. Follow that up with a little, <laughs> little soft shoe. Hey. Ahoy. Can I join your show? Let me be blunt. Hmm. You just don't have the hands of a spear carrier. Really? You That's what it comes down? I have no idea how often <laughs> I hear that. Okay, carry on. Carry on. I don't remember. Is the water ballet before or after my mad scene? It's a weird adaptation of Shakespeare, but we'll let him get back to it. So basically, it's a Shakespeare done pirate, the pirate way. It's, it's strange. But uh, we will deal with them more later. We've gotten everything we need from the back area, as far as I know. Oh, I wonder, actually. We have that magic wand now. Oh, yeah, if you double-click, it lets you zip over there. No, not out. Put it on the hat. Nothing up my sleeve? Yep. So we know this hat's magic, because we didn't want to move it. Neener, neener, neener. Oh, it worked. Presto! Holy hey, it worked. There's something inside. All right, let's uh, look at the book. The A V mm, C's mm. of ventriloquism. Okay, so ventriloquism. That should be fun. Oh, I can go up these stairs. Oh, they go up here. It smells here. like something's burning. Oh, gross. Mm, must be this shoddy 17th century electrical <laughs> wiring. Wait a second. Somebody's been monkeying around with these controls. Yeah, I'll need hence to read the, the instructions before they'll work. Mm. I'll need to read the instructions before they'll okay, work. Okay, fair enough. We can't just go monkeying around with the controls. I see. Okay, Guybrush, take your time. It's not like we're in a rush. Try to save your girlfriend. No? Okay. It's as fast as he goes. thing is, once you choose a destination, you can double-click and he goes in... There Welcome automatically. So this is the Barbary the Coast. Barbary Coast. Arr. Where every haircut is an adventure. Hey, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer <coughs> hairstylists. Great. Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse. It's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Oh dear. You, you may be Wait saying too much. Did I just share too much? Yeah, you did. Sorry. Fruit beer. Thought it would be appropriate for Monkey Island. So he could just put in this comb down. And I want to get those scissors. 
so you have to get these three guys to be on your crew uh, eventually. Uh, and there's different ways. There's a way to get each one. So with him, he's the Scotsman. Uh, we need to challenge into a caber toss competition, I believe. He just wants us to find some gold, and he is wants us to, basically you need to challenge him to a duel. Um, however, we can't do any of that right now. But we can get into that chair, because once he puts this comb down, we can put these gross head lice on the comb. And then when he goes to comb Rotterdam's hair, he'll freak Holy out. Holy infestation! You've been struck with the hair demons! What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin! The scourge of every hygienic <laughs> sailor on the seven seas! That's Not a lie! Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. <laughs> Jesus. Good analogy. This calls that is an analogy, Gabrish. I'm bringing in old Ironsides. Uh -oh. oh no, let's not be too rash. Oh no. Rash? That's a bad sign. <coughs> There's no time to lose. I'm going to have to amputate. No, no, you'll ruin my hair! Oh no. <gasps> oh, he's extreme. Okay, so now we can get in the barber chair. Uh, how do we use it? Use barber chair. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine coif. Alright, so if we try to use the handle right now, he'll tell us to stop moving, I think. Because he can jack this ah. thing up. Keep your hands off okay. that chair handle. So he won't let me go up far enough. However, if we kick this paperweight... I can't reach it. I'm too low. Okay. So you can do the handle once. He's looking at that book, so we want to distract him, so we'll kick that. Ooh, that's amazing. Uh, dude. Oh, okay. Blast that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. Go, go look for rocks, man. Keep your skirt on, lad. All right. Keep pulling this handle till we're at the ceiling. Okay. Just keep. It's amazing. All right, so let's grab these scissors. Shizzer I was gonna say shears, but then my brain read scissors on the screen, and I went. <laughs> well, I searched the whole island. That's quick. And I couldn't have find a single rock for a paperweight. I suppose I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I'm good. I you know just what? remembered. I have another appointment. Oh, I was going to give you a French braid too. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, I'm a proud English pirate here. So let's explore some more of this island. We've been to the swamp. In the Puerto Pueyo. We've been to the fort. What's this over here? Oh, hello. Brimstone Beach Club. Cooking oil. Let's just look at it. May I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. Oh, well, good for you. Let's talk to this guy. Yes, may I help you? Um... I've just been in a rousing pirate battle. Mind if I towel off? Sure, but... Hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach, and a swapper size class at two and four. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. Like you do. Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. Naturally. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. Mm. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> yes, please. See your membership card and we'll fix you right up. Membership card. You don't need to see my. You don't need to see my identification. <laughs> I don't need to see your identification. I'm not the pirate you're looking for. You're not the pirate I'm looking for. I can go about my business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. Move. Eh. Hey, wait a minute. Your mind games won't work on me, boy. No membership card, I see. Well, sir, 
You're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgie, part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired Pirates. It's very exclusive. Hmm. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost <laughs> at sea, and it was terrible. Then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Well, okay. tragedy. Okay, let's see if we can sneak some of these towels anyway. Those towels are for members only. Okay, so we need to get a membership card, and to do that, I'm pretty sure you... Kenny is contemptible sneak. All right, so let's go back here to the undergrowth. All right, so we've got these scissors now. They look pretty heavy duty. Let's use these and see if we can get a flower of Ipecac. Useful. Oh, oh, he's gonna keep going. Okay. Hey, we've got a path now. Maybe we can get to Danger Cove, because that's where that sign says. Alright. Cool. We are in the forest. Standard Monkey Island Fair. Get ourselves lost in the jungle. Perfect. Oh, I'm just trotting along. Okay. Snake Crossing. Club. Cereal. Ooh, machete. That could be useful. Uh, that's a vacuum cleaner. A stick and a bottle. Let's get this machete if it'll let me no hmm, wonder what this sign means i wonder snake crossing hmm what suspicious harm could a snake hmm oh dear oh no mm. okay well, now i'm in a snake good. no it's not good guybrush you're very very astute oh fabergé egg Yes, thank you. I mean, because when I'm a pirate, I find every opportunity to loot. Oh, here's vacuum cleaner attachments to go with that vacuum cleaner out there. So, when we get out, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff? That's nice and generic. Oh, gosh. Alright, let's see what he's picked up here. Oh, gross. Okay. Oh, we've got a reservation slip for the uh, chicken place. We've got a stuffed dinghy dog. Top secret plans. Can I look at them? I hate to think what would happen if these fell into the wrong hands. Are mine the wrong hands? Okay. Phone books, uh, vacuum cleaner attachments, Fabergé egg. This is all stuff we need. Oh, but we got syrup, pancakes, sausage, and eggs. We have a whole breakfast here and a mug of coffee. Let's drink it. I'm nervous enough just being inside this. <laughs> okay, snake. fair. Got a tire and, uh, hmm, bleh. Naturalist remains, but if you recall, um, we got this ipecac flower, and ipecac is um, what's it called? It makes you, it makes you yak. It makes you sick, and you want this snake to get sick. Now you can't just use the snake, the ipecac on the snake, because when you get ipecac in the pharmacy or whatever, it's called syrup of ipecac. So we have some syrup. It makes syrup of ipecac. That seems logical. Yeah, not really, but. It's okay, it works in the context of this game. So we're gonna give that to the snake and get him to... At least it's not like the head, the manatee in Monkey Island 5 where it was the other direction. Ugh. Vincent, if you don't stop clawing mm. my furniture. That sure was a close one. <laughs> I thought for sure when I got eaten by that snake oh, that dear. I was done for. Oh. Thank goodness I'm safe. No. Oh no. No? No. Hey. Oh honey. Stop struggling, that's gonna make you sink faster. Hang on, the quicksand is sucking all the oh, cool no. stuff I found in that snake from my pants. Not my reservation no, slips. An odd sensation. <laughs> okay. So we're in quicksand. What does this plaque say? Because nothing Papa says bush. Papa by Plunder Island's indigenous peoples, this bush is named after a native word meaning youch. So you know, I'm stuck in a stuck in a quicksand, so I'm gonna take the time to read all the plaques quicksand around. Pit. Quicksand pits of this type are common throughout Plunder Island's nature trails. Mm -hmm. Many an unwary traveler has found himself trapped and unable to escape. Uh oh, someone, anyone, please, please help me, I'm sinking. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, reeds? It's a bunch of conveniently placed hollow reeds. That is conveniently placed. Alright, so grab one of these. Come on, you got it. Okay, so. 
Let's pick up this thorny plant. Yeah, Vincent, Jesus. stop it. Well, I got the thorn. I hope that was worth it. I, Papa Pichu. He will say I, Papa Pichu instead of ouch for the remainder of the game, and it's fantastic. So we can make hey, uh, a dart gun. Cool. So, next thing we'll need to do is attach this to the balloons, the paperweight we collected, and then blow on it. Because that'll put the rock over this vine. And then, if we pop Perfect. the balloon... Oh, For we are... Today, no, things are going no, darn it. Uh. Well, darn. Hey. hey, there we go. This game likes to troll you. We got another feral chicken over there. Alright, so now we take our dart gun, homemade dart gun, anywhere in this quicksand. and we blow it at the balloon, and that will drop the rock on the stick, releasing the cable, or the vine, so we can pull our way out of the quicksand. Dun 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 dun. It's uh, almost as good as the device we tried to make in King's Quest, the, the, the most recent King's Quest game, where we had to, we made a little rotating uh, pulley system. Meanwhile, our friend is just like, no, we got you, fam. All right, so we got a boat here, but it's got a big gaping hole. So our order of business to get any further on this side of the island is going to be to repair. It's the bay. It's the bay. It is. I'll be cut to ribbons by those yeah, sharks. Yeah, there are sharks out there. there, so I guess it would be a good idea not to. But we do have the reservation slip now for the chicken joint in town, which is over here. Kenny, you sleazeball. Oh, every time I see him. He's so grouchy. We had to deal with him more, so that kind of blows. <coughs> I beg your pardon. As I said, do I got a cough. A reservation? Uh, yes, actually, of course, of course I do. I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Yes. Okay, here you Very go. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Mrs. Brian Stoop. Brian Stoop. Oh, poor Mrs. Brian Stoop must have gotten, uh... Devoured by the snake. Maybe she was the naturalist. Okay, well, it's not nailed down, so we got a biscuit cutter and a pan, and we want both of those. Let's go to this quiet patron here and talk at him. Doesn't look too uh, healthy. Excuse me, sir? Sir? Now that's just rude. Right? He's just ignoring me. Hey, buddy. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Hi, Manny! Ah, we found him. It's one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye. I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Yeah, you did. The undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil life overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye. And he complained about me chicken. Oh. Okay. So we finally met Manny. What is this? It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. So if you recall in the first Monkey Island game, you had the guy in the bar that had the pin that said, Ask me about Loom. Uh, now we've got a pin. I don't want people always asking me about That's Grim fair. Fandango. Alright, so let's grab this serrated bread knife, because why not? And then we're going to go up here and grab some buttery, flaky biscuits. Delicious, delicious. Alright, let's see. Can we eat it? Um, 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 um. Uh? This biscuit is full of maggots. Gross. Aye, <laughs> that's my special ingredient. That's just the right amount of exotic flavor. It's a good thing too, cause I can't <coughs> keep them out of the food around here. That was actually a thing. We were watching a. My sister came down and she showed me this documentary, and it was all about historical food and. They legit had cheese mites and maggots and cheese. It was gross. We're going to use these maggots with a chicken, eat away the rest of the flesh. Who then crawl, I guess, back to the biscuits. Because you got to have your biscuits. Gross. Yeah. And inside this chicken is a club card for the cabana, which is awesome. That's what we needed in here. Uh, we will have to come in here again in the near future, but not immediately. Because I think, I'm trying to remember where I get what I need for that, but we'll get to that when we get to that. It has been a little bit since I played this game, but so the puzzles are still like really good puzzles in this game. And this is one of the first Monkey Island games I played. Uh, well, 
It's the third Monkey Island game I played, but it's, um, we actually built a computer just to be able to play this game. Alright, let's go to the cabana. Hi, prissy pants. Let's give you this Brimstone Beach Club card. Look at that. Excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. Thank you. My card. Let me see that. It's legit, I promise. I've oh, just no. pulled it out of a chicken. In the name of all things clean, you've got a membership. <laughs> yes. <coughs> I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. <laughs> no. Uh, you mustn't. I must. Uh, I must. And perhaps. I must. And perhaps I'll sunbathe nude. <laughs> Sweet mother of pearl, no! Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. I have a feeling he doesn't want me to be around. But we are going to pick up some towels. Nice fluffy towel. Pick up a couple more. I want at least three, I I'll believe. I'll just take one more. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take my three fluffy white dry towels and make them not dry anymore. We're going to dunk them in the ice bucket. Cool, cool. The towels are all wet now. Yes, they are. Because let's go ahead and walk across this beach. Hot! Ah, I'm a pea shoot. <laughs> With these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. That's unfortunate. All right. So what we do here is we're going to use our wet towels and we're going to put it on the beach. And it'll cool down the sand enough that we can walk on it. And we'll just have to do one, two, and three. Whoop. And then we're good. We're across. I have a pea shoot. What are doing? That is some insanely hot sand. Look at the sand castle over here. That's kind of cool. Hey, buddy. Sunbather, who is this guy? <laughs> wow, you're pale. Dude, this is why you have no friends. Wow, you're pale. Look, babe, I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out? Since March. Um. I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never mm. heard of it. I don't believe you. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't know how to get to Blood Island? I told you before, babe. Stop I've calling never heard me babe. Blood Island. All right. Um. I've seen correctional fluids with better colors. <laughs> yeah, babe. I'm not the tannest cat around. No, you're really but not. As you can see, I'm working on it. Since March, right? You said. All right. Uh, see yeah. you around. So. Stop it, Vincent. He just keeps jumping up and clawing at my fingers. <sighs> what a jerk. I just smacked him in the face. He'll go over there and pout for a minute. Then he'll be back. Cool. I've got his, um, his glass now. We need that. Because if you uh, remember, there's another glass in town that uh, has no, no bottom. And this looks exactly like it. And this allows us to uh, go around that whole sand MacGuffins. So, we're going to get one more towel here. Nice now that we, uh, we used all our towels, we're going to use the dry towel. I think it can be dry on the Cabana Boy. What? A dry towel just doesn't have ah, that Ah, okay, it does need to be wet. So, if you've ever done gone swimming, you've probably done this. Um, but I don't encourage this, this so in your wet. real life, but it's fun. So, Take your wet towel, and you're going to use it on the cabana boy. Get rid of him out of here, because we want that oil. Papa <laughs> Pichu! Papa Pichu. Bye. I don't... See, now, I think if you don't read that, uh, that plaque in the quicksand, you never get the information about Papa Pichu being a thing. So I think he just says, ouch. Ooh, weenies. Can we yes, pick up... No. It looks like some of those are older than I am. Gross. Okay. So now we're going to go back to Puerto Pollo. Kenny is sleaze bucket. We're going to we're going to we're going to roast you, get your goose cooked and all. 
So let's swap these out. Hey, look over there, a three-headed monkey. A three-headed monkey. There you go. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? All right. Let's swap those mugs out, and now we're gonna get some lemonade. Hey! Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. Yes, it does. Okay. So, Kenny, my friend, you absolute magnificent animal, shall I try some more of your beautiful lemonade? Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. And now you see the lemonade stays in the cup. And we can go glug, 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 glug. It's delicious. Ah, that was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey! How did you drink all the lemonade? Magic. You switched mugs on me, you cheat. Oh, I'm the cheat. Happy. Yeah. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. You made at least 10 cents off it, so whatever. <laughs> Eyebrows. All right, <clears throat> we're going to take the picture. And we're going to take this mug. Can I take it? I don't need it anymore. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to get that sunbather on the beach to turn over in one of the grossest segments of this entire game. We're going to do that in the next video, so I'll leave you in suspense as to how we're going to do that with nothing but a picture and a dream. We'll see you then.